Hi there everybody, this is Devin Olson from Developer to Developer and today I wanted to talk about texture atlasing and the entire concept behind texture atlasing. As you know, when you're 3D modeling, you have many, many surfaces that you apply many different materials to. And these different materials are made up of different files. When you're designing a game, these files have two types of impact. One impact is file size, meaning the amount of files that you have or materials you have increases your overall project file size. Two is the amount of draw calls or calls to the CPU or GPU based on the amount of materials that you have on the amount of services that you have throughout your scene. One way to combat the amount of file size and CPU or draw calls that you have is to combine your materials into a single collage or atlas or sprite of different materials, if you will. But let's go back for a second and talk about the basic concept of how we get to this particular instance. In 3D Studio Max, I have a plane here that will represent a single surface. This will represent a large surface in a scene that we have, say, in Unity 3D Game Engine. If we open up our material editor and we drop a material on here, you'll go ahead and see that our material fills up the entire surface UV space. This means that there is zero tiling happening on the surface. Because our texture is a high resolution texture, or in this instance, a 512 by 512 pixel texture, we get a nice detail texture in here. However, when you're trying to save space for a game, for instance, you may want to lower the resolution of it to something maybe like 256 or 128. However, the problem you can see now is that the texture is far too low a resolution. One way of combating a low resolution texture for file size is to tile the texture so it doesn't fill up the entire UV space, like so. That way the low resolution or small file size is only noticeable when you get up close to the surface. However, this really isn't addressing the fact that we are having to deal with multiple files, having to reach out to our CPU or GPU, creating multiple draw calls, and lowering our overall performance. So to address both file size and performance, you should atlas, or rather collage, your materials into one file. This way your model will contain this single material through all the different surfaces, and in theory, be one draw call, or one reach to the CPU or GPU, increasing performance, and lowering file size. As you can see, here's our material we've been working with so far, and here's it collaged with the second material. A great thing about collaging materials is that you can reduce the quality, or stream different quality sizes fairly quickly because it is again one file size and not multiple requests to a server. So why doesn't everybody start using texture atlasing? Texture atlasing introduces one major fallback and that major fallback is being able to tile. When you collage a material you lose the luxury of being able to tile in both X and Y on your surfaces. As you can see, I've gone ahead and dropped our collaged material onto our surface that we're working with in 3D Studio Max. Because we have multiple materials in our atlas, we are no longer allowed to tile it because with each new material that we add to our atlas, we lose the ability to tile in either X or Y axis. We can no longer look to our material to give us the ability to repeat on our surfaces. We instead must rather look at our surface and the amount of subdivisions that our surface has to get the tiling effect that we need from our atlas. Taking our surface here and converting it to an edible poly, we can simply select its edges, go to connect, and set our segments to something like four. And in the opposite direction, set our segments to four. This way our surface is now subdivided up into tiny little blocks. From here, we'll give our surface an unwrap UVW and go to the edit. Once in the edit view of the unwrap UVW modifier, make sure that you have the vertex sub object mode selected and select all of your vertices. Right click and go to break and then up top, change your drop down to your material. So you can see it in the background. We'll go ahead and turn grid off and we'll switch to face sub object mode. From here, let's select practically half of our faces and while holding shift, click and drag them down in one direction. Then come in here from the other side and do the same thing. Hold shift and move it in the other direction and repeat the process 
until we get to one tiny square. From here, we'll zoom into our tiny square, and you can see some things don't actually align. We can spend the time going through here and moving one at a time and getting it perfectly aligned, or just do a rough check, which is selecting half of one direction and moving it that, that direction, and then selecting the other half of another direction and moving it that direction. until you end up with a pretty solid seam. Now we'll go ahead and select all of these faces and up in the upper left hand corner we'll go to free transform mode and this will set a transform box around that we can scale. So we'll take all of our faces and we'll drag it over on top of our material in the background and from one corner while holding control we will click and drag and scale in an even ratio. That way we don't lose our UV coordinates ratio. Once you're over the particular section of the atlas that you want, you can go ahead and close this window. Looking at our surface and all its little pieces, you can see they now make up the one particular portion of our atlas versus tiling the entire atlas. Looking closely, we can see that it is a little bit stretched in one direction, or squashed, if you will. So opening back up our edit UVs, we can hold shift, click one corner, and drag it one direction, and it sort of locks it in that direction. And as you can see in the background, it starts to become unsquashed. Go ahead and right click on the UVW unwrap modifier and say collapse to mesh. And that's it. So by taking your multiple materials that you would apply to many different services that would create many, many, many different CPU calls or GPU calls and combining them into one material, you in theory reduce your model's amount of draw calls to a single draw call or one. Not only do you lower the amount of draw calls, or rather increase the performance for your scene, you also lower the file size, or the amount of requests for particular textures that your scene may need. I hope this clears up some misconceptions or ideas about texture atlasing, and gives artists a good head start into optimizing and lowering their scene file sizes. Thank you very much.